welcome dear professionals and learners to the very informative and interesting video on stratified sampling see this video is a second part for stratified sampling and there is a part 1 on stratified sampling already available onto the channel so for in depth understanding and clarity on the stratified sampling i request you to go through the part 1 as well so stratified sampling is a process of sampling and getting confirmation on the blend uniformity and contained uniformity in the solid oral doses forms like tablets and capsules so earlier usp content uniformity test was be, being performed and now the astm guidelines are there which gives total information about the stratified sampling and nowadays stratified sampling is must for the regulatory authorities for product filing so once again a little introduction i will give strata or stratum means a subgroup so this stratified sampling involves making the subgroups and out of that the samples are taken it is a well planned uh, sampling and it is done with a written protocol and a well defined procedure blend sampling or bu sampling of the lubricated blend is the first step in the stratified sampling so once you have done for example granulation or blending uh, for capsule filling or tablet compression so the last stage in the granulation process that is lubricated blend or lubrication that is considered for the bu sampling the sample should be from the blending stage just prior to tablet compression or capsule filling process this is a part of process validation see uh, whatever the products are being made and filed to the regulatory authorities all those products should go through the validation process and stratified sampling is the core requirement of the process validation for uh, for example tablets and capsules so astm e2709 and astm e2810 are the basic guidelines from uh, uh, for this uh, stratified sampling and this stratified sampling gives you the confidence for meeting with the requirements of usp contained uniformity stratified sampling starts with the bu sampling uh, it takes uh, 10 locations in the blender and bu sampling is done in triplicate total blend samples will be 10 into 3 30 samples out of 30 samples we have to test 10 samples uh, and step 2 is to perform assay of one sample each location so now we have 10 assay values now see stratified sampling start with bu and uh, bu and cu and stratified sampling are the core areas of uh, validation so this this topic is a, uh, a topic of interest for discussion in the interviews so once you have done blend uniformity sampling blend uh, results you have and the blend uniformity limit is rsd of all individual results less than or equal to 5% then all individual results are within 10% of the mean of the results and the mean will lie between the 90 to 110 0% of the label claim so now after getting the blend uniformity results you will have uh, 10 values and these values will have some standard deviation so based on the standard deviation the process of stratified sampling will be dependent that means if your standard deviation of the lubricated blend assay values is below 3% then BU passes the stage 1 that means your blend is very very good and it is very good very in uniform if the standard deviation is above 5% 
that means your view is filled and no further action is taken see now I, as i have told you in the part 1 sd below 3% means bu passes stage 1 and if bu if bu gives a standard deviation between 3.1 to 5% still your bu passes but it is filled in stage 1 you cannot go to stage 1 now if your bu sd value lies between 3.1 to 5 for example you are getting a value of 4 then you have to perform bu stage 2 with second and third bu samples now you will be having 30 assay values then if you get standard deviation below uh, 3% then bu passes the stage 1 so if bu sd is between 3.1 to 5 bu still passes and it is stage 2 that means all the stratified sampling and uh, the locations and all it is dependent on the standard deviation of the bu so in part 1 we have seen that uh, standard deviation was below 3% and we have not performed stage 2 sample uh, analysis and we directly went to uh, have the samples from 40 different location out of that uh, 20 location samples were analyzed and uh, 60 assay values were put into the excel sheets provided by astm and the cu was passing now the second stage is the motto of this video now you have bu results of stage 2 and it is between 3.1 to 5% of target for the standard deviation see the cases uh, the case what will happen in the bu that i have explained so once again you should go through it to have complete understanding bu sample you have taken you have assayed one sample each and now you have standard deviation of less than 3% so you have to perform sampling from 40 locations and you have to test three units from 20 locations then if it is uh, not passing in the stage 1 that means if sd is uh, like 4% then you have to go to stage 2 and you have to perform assay of the second and third set and if it is above 5% the bu will fail and no further action is there if it is between uh, 3.1 to 5% then depending on the location sample will be done so here example is given for the uh, a standard deviation of 2.8% and 20 locations are to be considered if it is from 3.1 to 5% then 40 locations are to be taken and all the units from 40 locations are required to be analyzed now as per the part 1 we have to divide the compression run or capsule filling run into 40 location we have to take three uh, tablets from each location that means the time interval and we have to now the acceptance criteria is all the individual values within 75 to 125% and complies with statistical test to provide an appropriate level of assurance to comply with usp for number of assay results so this criteria is for the assay results of the doses units that is collected in the location sampling so now you have assay values of 120 units it may be tablet or capsules so all those assay values are required to be put into the excel sheet provided by the astm the that excel sheet and all the guidelines are available on the astm isp guideline uh, isp website and after putting those values you will get the results like minimum is 95.5 maximum is 
1.104. So these uh, values I have hypothetically put from 95.5 to 104 percent in between and got the below results. So here they have given between location standard deviation, within location standard deviation, overall mean as per ASTM 2810 statistics. They have calculated the lower and upper values and as per the statistical calculation that is given in the Excel sheet of ISP ASTM, the CU is passing. So the stratified sampling assay is passing. Now you can get a graph here. So this graph will show how much variation is there in the assay results of 120 units. Now coming to the best practices, like we have to design the process which gives the best blend uniformity, then understand ISP ASTM guidelines and other BU guidelines or SOPs of the individual organization for stratified sampling in detail. Then we have to avoid BU sampling errors. Sometimes due to BU sampling errors, we get the higher standard deviation for BU results then compact sampling instead of powder bu sampling see many times uh, due to powder sampling bu variation is observed so compact sampling is done in this the powder is compacted and that compact uh, sample is analyzed for assay so that will give you less variation and more accuracy also you have to watch part 1 video for in-depth understanding regarding the stratified sampling. The references for this video are USP guidelines and ASTM guidelines, then USP content uniformity uh, requirements. So uh, stay tuned to this channel for informative videos and interview preparations. Uh, as these topics are very much uh, required and studied then these topics are very important for the interview preparations so i think you might have liked this video and you got a good understanding out of it so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to pharma learning in depth channel thank you